Before looking at the scientific miracle which will be discussed in this proof, we want to give some information about the Arabic language. With the help of this information, the scientific miracle to analyze will be understood better. The words in the Arabic language are divided into two categories in terms of gender. The words that are used for female beings are called muhunes, feminine. The words that are used for male beings are called muzikr, masculine. In Arabic language, things are either muhunes, feminine, or muzikr, masculine, whether they are animals, plants, objects, or verbs. So, in Arabic, verbs are also divided into two as female or male. When the doer of a sentence is male, the verb is conjugated as masculine, and when the doer of the sentence is female, the verb is conjugated as feminine. That is, there is coherence between the verb and doer in terms of gender. After this information, now let us pay attention to the verses 68 and 69 of the chapter of An-Nal. And thy Lord taught the bee to build its cells and hills, on trees, and in men's habitations. Then to eat of all the produce of the earth, and find with skill the spacious paths of its Lord. There issues from within their bodies a drink of varying colors, wherein is healing for men. Verily in this is a sign for those who give thought. In Arabic, the B is written as Nal, in the same way both for male and female. This word has no feminine form. However, the Quran uses the feminine form of the verb when it gives information about the inspiration which is given to the bee and what the bee does. As we have mentioned before, verbs in the Arabic language are conjugated in different ways according to the gender. This is also valid in many other languages of the world. When what the bee does is narrated in the Quran, the verb is conjugated in the feminine form it is as follows. 1. In the verse, in order to express the meaning make habitation, the word itahaz, which is used for the feminine, is preferred instead of itahazi, which is used for the masculine. 2. In order to express the meaning eat of all fruits, the word of kyul, which is used for the feminine, is preferred instead of kuli, which is used for the masculine. 3. In order to express the meaning, follow the ways of your Lord, the word of yuslik, which is used for the feminine, is preferred instead of yusluki, which is used for the masculine. 4. The pronoun there in the sentence, there comes forth from their bellies, is expressed with the word hu, which refers to the feminine, instead of the word ha, which refers to the masculine. So, the deeds which are mentioned by the Quran as making habitation, that is, building the honeycomb, eating of all fruits in order to collect the nectar, following the ways of Allah, which is inspired and giving the honey from bellies, are performed by the female bee. That is, the doer of all deeds here is the female bee. So what do scientists say about this news given 1400 years ago? Are all of these listed works performed by the female bee, really? Now, listen to the words of scientists on this subject and hear what they say. They say that all deeds that the Quran mentions are performed by worker bees which are female bees. There is no connection with the deeds which are mentioned by the Quran and the male bees. 
the sole duty of male bees that have huge eyes and have a larger form than the female worker bees is to ensure reproduction with the young queen. Male bees that accomplish this task at the end of summer are thrown out of the honeycomb and die soon as they are accustomed to living with the nursing of female bees. As you see, the news of the Quran and the fact science has found in this century is one and the same. This fact, which has been discovered by science recently, but which has been informed by the Quran 1400 years ago, is a miraculous news of the Quran. However, it was impossible for the people to know the division of labor in the honeycomb at the time of the revelation of the Quran. The people of that time did neither know what the worker bees were female nor that the works of building the comb and producing honey were performed by female worker bees. However, the Quran informed this and the news turned out to be true as it was informed. Is there other way than accepting the Quran is the book of Allah in the face of this great miracle of the Quran which amazes people? The Quran is the book of the being who inspires the bee and prepares the honey in its belly. He let the honey be prepared by the female bee, inspired it, and informed this in his book centuries ago. Yes, the Quran is the book of Allah and his eternal speech. We believe in it and accept it.